Hey, All what's right. the deal, YouTube? We're back with another weekly podcast, uh, Big Gamer Small Talk. It's uh, ah, <laughs> it's a lot going on, man. It's a lot going on, man. What's one, what's one, what's the first, man? Hey, well, Sony, Nintendo. Yeah, yeah, we, well, yeah. Well, well, first, obviously, is the uh, the big news of the day, which is um, Sony Online Entertainment (SOE) being sold off completely by Sony, which um, you know comes as a big surprise because they had hyped up um, some of their big console exclusives like Planet Side Two and. Um, apparently, the new EverQuest was going to possibly be on the PS4, and you know they have like DC Universe Online, which I actually played that at launch on PS3 when it was subscription based, and it was really good. Um, so now they're already talking about bringing all this stuff over to the Xbox One. Um, those developers are uh, quote unquote excited about making games on Xbox One. And what's interesting is, and this is a good point that can't be understated, Sony was denied a chance to push back their shareholders' meetings. To they wanted to request that to be pushed back till March 31st, and they or uh, yeah March 31st, and they said no. So now they only have till February 4th. So they get this done, and so they're going to probably use the money from mm -hmm. this and include it in. You but they, yeah, and they've done this before. They sold off that building for like 450 million, and then they use that oh. to make their to make their quarterly profits look hey, better. Stuff you always sell some shit, ain't they? It's, yeah, it's, it's a fire sale. Everything must go. You yeah, know what right. I mean? They, so, they, said the, they said Microsoft was having a fire sale. Like, you know, but uh, uh, someone can chime in. Uh, you want me to go get the shit off my chest? Do you guys really think we're going to see 18.5 million show up on that report in February? I don't. Um, You know what? It will show up if they have shipped that many by the time February comes around because yeah. that, that's just what they'll do. Because, listen, um, the shareholders' meetings, you have to be honest. When you're sitting up at CES, you can say whatever the hell you want. Right. But, I'll do, but here's the thing, though. If they, they say 18.5, if they say 18.5, we'll know they were lying because they said 18.5 two months ago. So, well, they could just still use that. Ago. Yeah, they could still, <laughs> still use that. We're talking about Sony here. They're not known for being honest. And, uh, uh, you know, they lied to an uh, invested before and got sued with PSP numbers. I, you know, I'm just, you know, yeah, that's, we're talking about Sony here, you know. And it's crazy. You would think it would be an American company being all shysty and s slick with the numbers. Here you got Sony, you know, their cultures on time, distinguished, you know, their honor down, down the sword, and these motherfuckers crooked as hell, man. Um, <laughs> it's not again, um, and and it's crazy that I, I keep saying this. It's not a shock to me. I, it's not, it's not, I'm gonna say right there that I'm not shocked. You know, Sony is hemorrhaging money. You know what I mean? Uh, it's letting you know that you know, and I guess they would say they were depending on uh, that hack really hurt them financially. Uh, which for us, you know, I think they, they made thirty million dollars, or they think between the, on you know all the platforms digitally, but it cost forty some odd million dollars to make, so they lost about thirteen million. You know what I mean? But again, like this is huge for Xbox fans. Planet Side okay. Two, H One Z One, DC Universe, EverQuest Online. Well, what else? Whatever else they do. Yeah, yeah. They do that, well, well, the thing is, is, I'll point out this, right, just so I don't sound so much like a hypocrite. Those games, besides maybe from DC, <laughs> aside from maybe DC Universe Online, which I played before, have no, I have no interest in those whatsoever. Um, but I will say, what's that? With achievements? What? Yeah, I mean, no, that, no, stuff, no. that stuff That stuff doesn't really interest me, to be honest with you. I thought Planet Side 2 looked stupid to begin with. But I think it's cool to have options for Xbox gamers because there do seem to be some that – are excited for this, so I'm happy for that. But am I going to be like, hey, Planet Side Two? Hell no, man! I got. But what about, what, a, but what <laughs> about what about Raider in this list? How do you do it? Oh man, he, poor guy. Poor guy. Raider <laughs> list just got bodied a little bit because he had a few of them on there. Spring. Shout out to Raider, man. <laughs> hey, Shout out, out to Raider, though. Ryan, he's but, uh, to Miko. You know, but who's hey, you know. Is it, is it, is it I was, I was gonna say this though, you know, um, uh -huh. well, what's going on with Sony, um, with the, with the selling of the studio and and all that little stuff, man. Um, it looks like it's not good from the standpoint of our perception of what's happening with this company. You know, um, when you look at it, it looks bad when a company sells anything. You know, it's that's Microsoft, including. Sony. So as soon as they downsize, sell, or do anything, it's like doom and gloom. They sell it and they they getting rid of everything and all this other little stuff. But I just think, 
you know, Sony does need money. I think they are trimming the fat a little bit, but you know, um, I just I just don't think it's the end of Sony. I don't want Sony going anywhere. You know what I'm saying? I I poke fun at Sony all the time, but deep down, I don't want them going anywhere. Yeah, you know not what I'm want saying? them to go anywhere so, though, and then just kind of facing the reality because how much fat left do they have to trim? <laughs> yeah, they are. They are. They are. They are cutting that bad boy he's, deep. He's, I mean, it's a sinking ship. Yeah. Man, they, they like. Uh, they like uh, uh, your boy Eddie Murphy and um, Martin off of Life. You know what I'm saying? Go meet <laughs> you in the upper room. <laughs> upper room. <laughs> <laughs> With Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't leave that long time. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's just it's just crazy, man. You know what I'm let, me ask, let me ask you guys a question. Would it would it surprise <laughs> any of you if Sony does not make it to next see next generation? Does no. it shock you now when they say maybe their next console may be cloud based? Uh, I, well, I, I think, think it'll be. I it'll be know. around. PlayStation will live on, whether it'll be Sony or not. That that remains to be seen. Why do you, why yeah. so, why do you, why do you think you know? Uh, well, this, this is the thing. They could be trying to put all their eggs in that basket because it looks like you know they're they're out of the phone market. That's a lot of eggs. Yeah, That's they're out of. Eggs, of it is because it's so unsure because you're going away from hardware, and That's so you're going to put all your yeah, and you're going to put all your eggs in hardware. You know what I'm saying? It's like we're well, we're getting away from that, and they're going to put all their all their hopes and dreams <laughs> and money and onto the console. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let me let me say this. Uh, and you think about how big of a company Sony is. You got movies, you got music, you got cameras, you got TV. They even into HUD. They even sell houses and show the side. Show us. <laughs> they do a lot of shit, and they got a lot of CEOs. And you talking about all that ride on the back of PlayStation? Like I think I'm gonna say it again, man. Sony kind of shot itself in the foot trying to undercut Microsoft coming out there by four hundred dollars, knowing they needed that extra hundred dollars to keep the lights on. Yeah, well, even so, listen yeah. to this though, guys. There's actually a point here to look at that I think a lot of people are looking at. The, they're missing a point here. One of the lead developers of SOE, they came out and said, "Can't wait to start making games for Xbox One." That's yeah. the first thing you say when you hate your old boss. Or you hated the way things were going, <laughs> right? You immediately yeah. like, "I love that guy. I yeah. love the new guy." Yeah. <laughs> And, like, you've got all the first generation. We got going – it was only a year ago when everyone was talking about Microsoft was going to be the one that was selling off the visions. Microsoft's gaming department's gone. Now, here we are. Everyone doesn't like to talk about it. No one likes to bring up old shit. But the truth yeah. of the matter is is that now Sony's letting people go – or, should be letting company parts, divisions of it go. And you've got people that worked for them saying, I can't wait to make a game for the Xbox One. It wasn't even – the print was wet. The print was still wet, and there's people well, already jumping shit. Though? Hey, Mooch, can you imagine Planet Side 2 on the Zero servers? Can you imagine the, the but, DC going around with dedicated Z, servers now? H1Z1 was supposed to be this big, look what we got. We've got this DayZ type game coming to Sony only. And before it could hit, Xbox is going to have it on day one, too. Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Hey, you know what? I, I'm going I'm to I'm tell you something. That first impression I had of H1Z1 wasn't a good one. No, you know what I'm either. saying. So I, I, I ain't too thrilled about it. But I see, you know, um, I seen my man Dark Holy. He was, uh, he was playing it on the PC. It looked a little better than what I had saw the first time I saw that game. Yeah, PC first time I saw that game, man, it was, it was hitting yeah, deer, but, and the deer but, just was just yeah. dumb. They didn't even run or nothing. They just stood you know there and looked know? at it. You know what, guys? What's the first thing he said? By them being bored, out, they have more resources now. So maybe they can, yeah. you know, Go back and tweak the game, because to me, like I said, you know, it, graphically the, the game was just a little too demanding, and I was yeah, I did yeah. actually did a video about it. I was like, God damn, it's like like from Streets of Rage, old school, like what the hell is this? But maybe they push it back, you know, and you know, and really, really, you know, they got I don't know how big this company. Like, this must be a huge company and something we never heard of. But uh, they said they got more resources now, and I think you're right. You know, they probably hate their old boss, and Sony was making them put that shit on the console. You know what I mean? And it, it probably didn't like working for Sony, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't I didn't expect to see that being so welcome. You know, maybe EverQuest is not as big as it used to be, but that you gotta pay rooms. I think my son was fifteen bucks a month to play this shit online or some shit like that, whatever the fuck the case may be, you know what I mean? But I don't know, man. I don't think Sony's gonna be around much longer, I'm just being honest. And you know, I just maybe got the PlayStation brand. I you know, I don't know who would wanna oh, I don't listen, hey boy, the right was in the wall, the motherfucker quack like a duck is a duck, man. 
You know, we can be optimistic all we want. You know what I mean? You know, Sony's still waiting on his next big thing. You know, that twelve hundred dollar goddamn walk, man. That's gonna turn it around for him. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, look, listen, look at look at the trend in the last two years. They started off by selling buildings, bro. Headquarters. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you know, we all laugh and tease about that. Well, now you got a technical giant like Sony selling fucking life insurance, bro. They look, they looking to make ends meet like a motherfucker, man. You gonna tell me that extra hundred dollars wouldn't help around that motherfucker? That VR rim wouldn't help right around no one use games? Like, come on, man. They hemorrhage your money, man. All right, you want me to go now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, 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 we need to hear the Sony guy. Sony Slash well, you got I don't know. Here. I don't know if I have enough soap and water to mop up all this crap. Let me get some more. <laughs> Let me get some more water. You know what I mean? Because there's a lot of shit all over the floor. Got? I just, I, you know, I, I said, I'm going to sit back and let you guys go. I know you all brought the lube, and you're going to circle jerk for about 10 minutes. <laughs> so now I will bring a dose of sanity. All right, they were always selling insurance, so they didn't just start selling insurance to make money this generation. Uh, they're still selling more globally. Now, the PlayStation brand by itself can't carry a big company, which is why you're seeing a big company cut and become smaller in order to survive. That's what they're doing. So it's not okay. as if, you know... The sky's falling. I mean, this is. This is I mean, I, I want to make a point. I want to make a point. This. Uh, I'm not saying that this isn't. This isn't. You know, bad news. I mean, this is the first first party developer that Sony has gotten rid of. Sony Online Entertainment is a first party developer for Sony, and they sold them. So, not great news, right? But you got. You, but what everybody says. But if but you're making. The games uh, would make money for Sony. The, the games would make money for Sony. Right, but those, uh, games you know, aren't, but those games weren't making money for Sony for a mm -hmm. while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why they got... It ready. really wasn't. So when you say PlayStation Division can't carry a big company, you're right. One division can't carry a big company, especially a large company with seven, eight, nine divisions. So what yeah. does the big company do? They either go out of business or they say, hey, we got to get a little smaller. Or else we're gonna go out of business. And that's so what, what they're doing. I right, worry. All right, so all right, listen. Level heads for buy. Um, all right. Here. What would you have Sony cut? Well, they just. I, I didn't think that they would cut SOE, but they did. That's big. I mean, the uh -huh. amount of debt. The amount of debt that's gone from selling that versus the revenue that they're getting. That's a big first step. Okay. Yeah. I didn't expect yeah. them to do something that big. But you do realize. Yeah, that was that was pretty huge. But here's well, again, what again what, what what these bad boys that we fight every day. They're still looking for the Sony of the old. Let's be honest here. Right. These great right. IPs, these greatest. There's no more of that. Well, you know, you know what? I, mean? what? I, I think I think you're right about that, but I also think that maybe this is them finally understanding that they can't be something that they're not. So maybe by cutting, maybe by getting rid of some debt, adding some revenue, their plan is to get back to being what they used to be. I'm not well, saying yeah. that's what's oh. going to happen. I'm saying that right. instead, of, instead of always looking at it as a negative, what happens but, if five, ten years from now, all of a sudden, you're getting all these... Yeah, but worry, I think, I think you've been seeing... Because they have money to invest in You've been now. seeing some of these small, like, hints they've been giving, dropping slowly. PSX was supposed to be this big thing, okay? And you yes. had Sony Santa Monica on mm -hmm. stage, and all they mm -hmm. had to do is just flash God of right. War. Just flash it. No. Mm -hmm. Instead, they're talking about Fat Princess. So what I'm saying is I'm seeing piece and piece and piece of every division they have, they're cutting slowly. You've got Naughty Dog. That's their 3-4-3. Three, three. They're down to just the two guys that created Last of Us. And God, Adam, yeah, Adam, yeah. Yeah. Move. Move. No, hey, hey, I, I, saw, I saw someone retweet a good thing. Sony's dying from, what, a million paper cuts or something like that? Yeah, that was really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, know, that's basically... Like, don't get me wrong. You made some good points. This wasn't just a, oh, you're wrong. I think you made some good... But I'm saying the writing's on the wall. There's just piece by piece by piece. They're doing it in piecemeal, so we're not adding it up. I, I, would, just, say, I would say that alone would be, okay, well, you can understand it's free to play. That's not exactly a marketable thing. Whoever thought of that idea or that it would be... A good way to make money and get it. There's a good game. Stupid. A good game. I think, you know, a what game, maybe that can be valuable. You know what I mean? That business model doesn't work for every type of game. You know what I mean? The right type of game, you know, that's addictive or whatever the case may be, is going to have you dig in your wallet. And as long as it doesn't cost more than an actual game will cost, I'm fine with that. I don't think that free-to-play business model works for every game, you know, in every scenario. I don't. 
Yeah. Well, just you yeah. know, but just, you, <laughs> go, it, go ahead. it is a flip side. It is a flip side to this because if this was Microsoft, yes, oh my God, right. man, this would be oh, yeah. this would oh, be yeah. bodying. You know what I'm saying? Everybody will. I mean, this will be all. I mean, Twitter. I mean, you'll see people out the woodworks. They ain't did videos in God knows how long. Coming mm -hmm. out. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Doing videos and you know what I'm saying? T-shirts, the banner, the white flag, be waved and everything. You yeah, know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just being real, man. You know, that's that's what's happening in this community. So anytime anybody sit here and talk doom and gloom or say this is uh, happening to Sony, everybody wants to get this. This tense up, like you know, I don't want Sony to go anywhere. You know what I'm saying? I'm with with that too. I don't want Sony going anywhere. But yeah, that's true. you can poke fun. You know what I'm saying? You can take jabs hey, because God. that's it's that's what's point. happening, bro. You know what I'm saying? I think the writing, I think the writing is on the wall. You know, they, I don't believe they, the writing is on the wall. Shit. I just think I just think you know, with the, within the contents of everything. You know what I'm saying? They, I think what 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 Warry said, I believe. They oh, are they downsizing. Too. I understand they're downsizing, but look at it from this perspective. They had this big Sony event, right? And all these Sony fanboys souped up. Yeah, Sony and Santa Monica is working on a new exclusive. This, this, yeah, this one here is working on a new exclusive. And they show these games, and they're these, these 5 and $10 games. You do realize, you know, go, in, okay. Uh, bro, okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. you, can attack it. You, can, you can have it right now. I'm about to pass you the mic right now. Sexy chalk, I'm about to drop the mic. I'm about to drop the mic. Right here. You know, drop the mic. again, you know, you drop the mic like Jack Trent. Listen, yeah, again, you know, <laughs> I think that here it is. You have Microsoft, and you have Sony, outside side of the state. And they're both trying to do it out for the hardcore gamer. Okay, the difference is right now between the two is Microsoft has a war chest. They can afford to invest one billion dollars on next generation games and titles. That's just that's dumb. You know what I mean? They're doing it big. Sony, that's why they only want to own multi-plats and more indies. And so when they sold, and that's Sony does have these great game studios, Sony, Santa Monica, Naughty Dog. But when they show you what they're working on, they're like, what the fuck is this? And like Moose said, all you had to do was show Kratos die. And you know what I mean? It's like, you know, that's how far they're off. Like, that Sony of old, bro, is gone. Yeah. You're gonna get maybe yeah. three AAA games. Look what they have coming out. Everybody can say what's coming out for 2015. And I say it again: Bloodborne is the into that cool. The order cool. Baseball not for everyone. All right. What else? In Uncharted. Am, 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 am I missing? Uh, and the undead gone. And that's it. And you look at what they have Microsoft has coming up. And it's only only going to continue to get better and better. Next year we know for sure. Gears of War fucking four. You know what I mean? What the, you know what I mean? Like, come on, man! It's 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 not even it's, it's it's not even close anymore. I'm just being honest. Sony's what's going on with Sony Financial is 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 is, is, is starting to show up right now. And what's going on with the PlayStation? They're going to find it. Hey, hey, a, you know a little bit, a little bit more into that too. Like people might want to bring up, oh, Street Fighter Five. We know that's not coming for years. But in an interview with Famatsu, the uh, developers, Capcom, said that this game is isn't going to be um, it's going to be small funded. They said. Uh, they didn't have well, the money. They didn't have the that money. Enix announcement this week. I think nobody should get their hopes up anymore. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is basically what they said. Okay, uh, the game is going to have half the fighters of the last Street Fighter. So it, it has a small budget. It's not. I don't even know if they're going to consider that a triple A game. But it, that this is according to an actual interview in Famatsu. They said the game's development funds will be small. Um, and there wasn't a whole lot of investment, so it's going to have half the fighters. And then there's also, yeah, remember how everybody was hyping up that big Square Enix game, all oh, PS4 exclusive, and then it ended up being yes, yes. Spelunky. Or Spelunky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Square, yeah. Enix, Square Enix. Is the, Square Enix get the Troll of the Year award. They man. do, because no. they trolled that. <laughs> they, damn, Final Fantasy They seven. bodied them, boy. God, yeah. Lee. Yeah, but they, I think they just tweeted or something that, you know, the Final Fantasy Realm or something with the Xbox One logo. So that's coming to the Xbox One, I guess, you know. Also, someone just sent it to me on Twitter or something that Square Enix said. But, and, yeah, that's you know, Final I mean, Fantasy. That, w that was going to be Final Fantasy Versus, and now it's hey, Final uh, Fantasy. Worry did have something to say. He, he is waiting patiently. Yeah, let, let's let, let's cut over to the Sony. Let him talk. Let him talk. Let him talk. Let him finish. Yeah, yeah, well, I just wanted. I just wanted to. I, like, I can't argue. You know the the what you think or anything like that. You know. Right, right. But you know a couple of things when you said you know there were signs you saw signs at E3. You know, the sale of a of a large 
segment like SOE doesn't happen like two, three days. So back at E3, they know that this this they, they knew that they were selling this portion of the company. It doesn't happen overnight. It was in the right. works. So they know that they got to trim the fat. They know <coughs> that they got to pull back a little bit. They know that they can't spend as much money right now. So when you say you saw those signs, I would expect to see those signs in a company that's downsizing in the hopes of generating more profit and getting back <coughs> what they were. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying yeah. that right now to say that the company's dead, Sony's gone. Right. No, you know, we're not saying that. No, I'm saying that, you know, I don't think it wants to do it. It's very possible. It's very possible that by cutting like this for a year or two years, okay, and release a couple of a couple of big games like the Order, whether or not now the pressure on this on these first party games is obviously higher now. They have to perform really well. The Order has to perform well. A Bloodborne has to, has to perform well. But if all these things work and they make more profit by doing this, then they could get back to being the company that they were. And who's to say that that's not going to happen? I don't know. That might happen. I'm not saying what you're saying is not going to happen. I don't want it to happen, but I don't want to make it seem like I'm dancing on the grave or anything like that. Oh, hey, no. Nah. Hey, listen. I don't think nobody in the day is dancing on the grave, but, you know, you got to realize, Corey, and not to say, we're, listen, and more or less, like I said, everyone shows more or less Xbox fans than you are. You're more or less equal to level head out of all of us. You're all fans with what you be it. But you don't understand. These same people that are crying now in the comment section were saying that Microsoft, oh, they're going to get rid of the Xbox division. When I've been saying today, why would they sell up something that's very profitable? And I do, I don't, well, I don't buy them. This was the last, I mean, something they've been planning all along. Because you know people say that this, this is a this is this is a first party developer, from. but everyone said this is what makes money for Sony the games. I don't know what they were making. I, I guess I don't know. I mean, at the end of the day, but I don't think they were just stinking. You know what I mean? mean? There was something else that's also kind of you, if you read between the lines. Um, when Microsoft bought uh, Mijan, all right, when they bought out the rights Mojang, to Mojang, Mojang, Mojang. Yeah, 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 when they yeah, bought Mojang. the rights to Minecraft. Everyone was like, oh, my God, they did it. They did it. It was announced. But then they were like, there was people from the Microsoft side that were like, everybody calm down. The deal's not complete. You know, but just like when you buy a house, you negotiate, you have a contract, you have a price set. But then there's a closing that's, you know, a good amount of time away. Right. This was announced today, and it said effective immediately. Immediately. That's, that's, yeah. that's, Sony, that's Sony's handout being like, yo, I need that money now. Well, that means, I mean, that, that it, means it was in the works long before well, today. Don't you think we would have heard it, though? Something? Yeah, you, Not necessarily. Well, why would you hear it? <laughs> listen, listen. You would hear it if it was one company versus another. This is the same company. It's all internal. They can release yeah. it whenever they want. It's hey, part hey, of their own. Hey, hey, don't worry. I, I agree that maybe some, maybe they had feelers out for this, but I'll just say this. If, say, Bloodborne and The Order so well, that doesn't necessarily mean they're going to start cranking out a bunch of first-party games because no. they've sold supposedly $18.5 million on basically selling people bullshit. Well, so it, what it does incentive mean do they... It does mean that because, listen, it means that because they're trimming the fat. If they get small enough to where they're making tons of money uh, off shit. of that one division, and then their uh, first-party software sells well, I'm they, could, this one. <laughs> they could get back to doing what they've done in the past. That's my point. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but hey, it, hey. it doesn't make sense to just discount it. Well, hey, well, yeah. I just told, well, according to them, they discounted. They said that triple A's is too expensive and only three out of ten make money, so I just don't see yeah, exactly. that. This, this is what Sony but that said. Could be, you know, but that could be why they're downsizing and getting smaller. Uh, uh, well, again, so, Warren, uh, this is my thing. You know, and, and, um, and This is coming <laughs> out of Sony's mouth. There's Sony of the old. Them days of them investing into these exclusives and they're not selling well, there's no more. Now, again, so why are they going to you say As you say, they're going to go back to shutting down the fat and get in shape we talk about Jerry Cooney, about the fight Larry Holmes. Jerry Cooney <laughs> is getting in shape, right? The great white hype. The Eugene Sun, like the great white hype. They get, it's getting in shape, right? About to fight Mike Tyson. getting in shape. So why are they going to get in shape? Cut all this fat and going out, pumping all these games like PlayStation All-Stars and all this shit. That's not selling. You're not making the company any money. That isn't making sense, boy. You're getting in shape. You go oh, back to the box. But, you're assuming, shape, but I, I understand what you're saying, but you're assuming they're not going to sell. You know what I mean? Let's uh, wait yeah, to uh, uh, But listen... But like, but like Crab said, what incentive do they have to start releasing more chip on the exclusive? I can sell. I can no, all I'm saying is they're gonna sell. They're gonna sell PS4s anyway. So what? Yeah. If they can continue to just get old PCs and make money, 
and make money. Yeah. They have no incentive. Put out a other, sprinkle of exclusives. Yeah, yeah other, than doing, doing, other than it's doing fun. the big, they're going to do a big three or four well, a year. Let, let me ask you a question, though. See, see, everything that we're talking about here about releasing a sprinkle of first-party games, didn't Microsoft <laughs> do that with the 360 last generation? Yeah. And did, well, and well no, not at, not at first. I mean, at first it was really good, and then later right. on in the and generation. Not, all third-party and very few yeah. first-party. Yeah, but look at Microsoft. Look at well, you know why it worked. You know why it worked was because. Um, yeah, but the difference worked. here is the, the, those those first parties that were released by Sony on PS3 platform, those were low budget first party games. Exactly. Like they weren't mass marketed. These what Microsoft's putting on the table right now are I'm talking 14, about the 360. Yeah, no, I agree with you, but I'm saying, like, that's my point. I'm saying when Microsoft did something on 360, when they did a first mm -hmm. party, it was explosive. When when right. Sony Ooh. came out and they were like, look, we are, they're doing the same thing. They, we have ten games. It was like, who cares? Like everyone saw. No, I shouldn't say. I understand they're not my cup of tea, but like I'm just saying, like they, they weren't mass media. Like they weren't advertising them. They didn't make a lot of money for them. That's the difference. I think now just to flip the script, like well, you're saying, worry. Well, what I would say too is Microsoft was reliant on um, the boom in online gaming, and Sony ha hasn't updated their online yeah. networks to really sure. do that. Just in my opinion, so so while while everybody was ma migrating to, they were like gear, and they were also releasing big AAA blockbusters as their tentpoles. So yeah, you might have only got three a year, but you were getting forts of Gears or Halo yeah. or Fable. So you know what I'm saying? Listen, Where, well, the act of that, the that, what you're saying, crap and mooch, you gotta realize this. And again, we just talking about. He said men lie, women lie, numbers don't lie. Yeah, Microsoft may give you three or four or two a year. But Halo 4 outsold every PlayStation 3 exclusive for 2000. Yeah, I mean, I understand what you're saying. They, they're, they've been fortunate to have IPs that are... Well Billion dollar IPs. And it's that's so why... That, that. That's why Besides, but that's why I made the distinction when I was talking about it. That's why okay. I said you have to wait and see how these first few first-party games of this year perform. They yeah. need... I said the pressure is on their first-party studios now to perform really well. So you have to wait and see. And if that happens, <coughs> it's much better than it not happening. I but but you know you know you know what also is the problem also a lot of their first party studios aren't doing big games now, um, a lot of them I mean yeah you're gonna have Naughty Dog that, who who are basically kind of stuck in this money making thing for Sony where they are forced to do Uncharted and The Last of Us now they just are because those are the only games that sell for Sony so and you're gonna get your Gran Turismo every five years because that company's notoriously slow but outside of that okay you have Fat Princes being made by Sony Santa Monica. You have uh, Media Molecule who makes Little Big Planet, and they're making uh, what Tearaway the port. Yeah, well, so so I mean you got your big hitters making here, basically indie here's games. What, here's what I will say, you know, if and this isn't good though. If you're if you're a third party and you get stuck into making one certain game, I think of Bungie, and I wouldn't yeah. want that to happen with Naughty Dog because you know Bungie got stuck making Halo. They decided we don't want to do it anymore, and they made Destiny, and that's a multiplayer. So I, I don't. I don't want Sony to force them to do that because I don't think you know Naughty yeah. Dog. But if you're but if you're Sony being a third party, you know, being a first party. If you're Sony, you, you own Naughty Dog, right? Yeah. And you look at okay, let's see, uh, what The Last of Us sells seven million copies. You're yeah. definitely going to have them do a sequel. Uncharted yeah. sells five million <laughs> copies. You're definitely because nothing else you're putting out is selling that much. No, exactly. Yeah, and, sure. and so and so you're gonna have them keep doing that. So unfortunately, that's what they're gonna do. And they do have two teams. Yeah. One team's gonna be doing Uncharted, and one team's gonna be doing The Last of Us. You know, Uncharted was selling well, and they still gave them the shot to make another IP, and they got The Last of Us. So that's not. Yeah, well, not and bad. they split. They split off the team too to do yeah. that. So and that, and now the other team is basically kind of in shambles because you got Druckmann and the other guy basically doing both now. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, I mean, you know what it is, man. I'm just, I'm just so like, like I, I'm just not. I'm so tired of the doom and the gloom. Yeah. And oh, the, I, I totally agree. You would think that. Uh, with, like, I, uh, I don't, I don't want a generation. You're, you're, you're not going to see developers take a chance with, with two consoles. You're not going to see, you know, you're not going to see any, any unique games. You're just going to see prices go up. You're going to see a push for everything to have multiplayer, no deep single player games anymore. They, they can't. You know, nobody should be rooting for them to go away. Oh, uh, oh, I, I, oh, no, 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 no. I don't, again, I don't, I don't, I don't think nobody wants Sony to go anywhere. But, I, but do, you, do you think this right? Like right now, we have three companies, but Sony still is not pushing their first parties to do deep multiplayer. I mean, they're just. Um, I mean, look at that. The order. I don't think no, can, right, to be honest with you. Well, the, the order is the order is uh, Capcom, isn't it? No, that's no, first party. That's first. Oh, that's, that's ready at dawn. That's ready at dawn. Yeah. From I'm software, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm from software of, uh, is doing uh, 
Bloodborne. There's Bloodborne. There's Bloodborne and a multiplayer part of it? Some kind of, yes, yes. I, I think do. it has some kind of online. I'm not sure what. Um, software is a third party. Yeah, they're I'm, third party. I'm going to end up buying that because I don't really, I'm going to get the, you know, I'm going to end up fucking probably buying it. But I, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm here it is. I'm, I don't have any high expectations for Sony, to be honest. I sat patiently. I thought I was going to pick up. I thought I would get the PS4 for Bloodborne, but the more I see of it, I, I really yeah, it, don't it, it think I'm going to play it. Yeah, they, it got a downgrade. I hate to say it, but I'd rather play oh, so the Dark Souls 2 remake that's coming out. I can't play it. I'm hoping that it's it, it's at least you know dumbed down for people like me who are just terrible. At oh, I, I, I agree with you, Worry. Like, <laughs> Dark Souls is a... That's it like brutal. Well, I don't like... I don't, I, 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 don't, I mean, I don't... But what I see in the first 18 minutes, it didn't look that hard. You hit the enemy make through two, two or three times and you kill him. I'm cool with that. I don't want nothing too fucking hard. Me banging my head on the floor. Well, here's the thing, though. Dark Souls wasn't hard like, like that, right? This is what happens, though. You get deep into these levels and you die, and then it sends you all the way back to the beginning. Yeah, the that's save system was, was bad. Yeah, that's what made it hard. It wasn't that the game was hard itself. Oh, yeah, if you took a wrong turn yeah. and started I fighting an enemy. Hard. Yeah, if you took a wrong turn and started fighting an enemy know. that was way above you in statue, then yeah, and you got messed up. But what happens is you die, and then it sends you way back to, like, you know, two, three hours ago. You know what I'm saying? Because there's no, like, mm -hmm. save system where you can just save oh, no. whatever you oh, want. No. I'll wait. That's I'll why it's so hard. I know what? I know this might sound. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? That's not a bad word. Um, uh, I know this might sound like uh, uh, feminine, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, at the, you, you really got to think. Like, you know, can you imagine? You know, coming home and you know you got to tell your family like you're out of a job. You know, mm -hmm. so it's not something that should be celebrated. You know, it, it's just I not. I think a lot of the comments, I, I can't speak for everybody on the panel here, but I mean, is is a lot of the comments that we make aren't necessarily for Sony, Sony Corporation. It's a lot of the, the Sony fanboys that for the past yeah. 15 yeah. months. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I just wow. think a lot of times it get, it get thrown together too sometimes. Yeah. You know, but when we talk, we talk in stri strictly just from the world. The only, we, the only two people, the world the only, in. The only two people that I honestly would say that I can't stand from Sony Corp is Yoshida and Fat Boy Adam Boys, because oh, yeah. those yeah. two were snarky. You see yeah. Joseph yeah. Yeah. and all yeah. these guys, Aaron Greenberg yeah. and uh, Phil Spencer, they've gotten pie thrown at them and everything else, and they're just like, don't worry about it. We're going to make something better for you guys. We love you guys. These assholes, when they just go out and present on E3 2013, two minutes later they come out with that, that cocky, like, passing yeah. it to each other, like yeah. middle uh -huh. fingers in the air. Like, to me personally... That's just unprofessional. That's when you know you've got a bunch of people running a major corporation that's an unprofessional unit. And that's, the, except for those two, you're right, Worry. There's nobody at the end of the day, even your worst enemy, you want them to go home and say, I can't put bread on the table. Yo, good call, good call. I said, I don't want to lose a job at the end of the day. I don't think it's funny. But listen, they get you a lot of bloating at E3. You know? Um, I'm just being honest. They did, you know, this is how we trade our games. I bet they can give you some extra royalty money now from that DRM. I'm just yeah. saying. I'm just so saying. Jack Trent, I want you guys, if you guys want to actually go back and do this, which no one will do this, but you go back and watch the one game trailers, the bonus round with uh, Jeff Keighley, and he did it with Jack Trenton, and he yeah. was sitting there, and he was like, Jack, you killed it. He's like, you did amazing. He's like, you did this. He did, And he's boasting. If you watch Jack's face and his mannerisms, as a professional man that he is, he didn't feed into it. He didn't listen. He knew what was coming down the line for Sony. He knew Sony's demise was on the rise, and that's why he was like, "Thank you, no, thanks, thanks for that compliment. I think Sony's going to be okay. I think we're going to do great. I think we showed everyone a good product." But he was like, "But you killed it!" And then you came out and you buried Microsoft with a hundred bucks. And he didn't feed into it. He was like, "Well, you know, we just put things together." And I have a lot of respect for Jack Trenton because he yeah, could he was, have taken that fight and went yeah, off. Yeah, Jack Trenton was Jack Trenton was awesome. Hey, they they missed that guy too because because who else would have come out there if you guys remember the 2011 hack and was mm. like basically just shoved the shoved the whole thing under the rug there. You know what I mean? And mm. oh hey, here's Kevin Butler who does commercials and isn't a gamer at all, but we're gonna bring him out on stage because it's gonna make all the PlayStation people go woo. You know, yeah, yeah, Sony so big Sony sued him for doing a Wii commercial. They did. Well, he didn't do a Wii. <laughs> commercial. What he did was he did a 
he did like a car commercial or a tire yeah, commercial, commercial where yeah. they were holding a Wii Mote or something in there or whatever, right? Oh, so, shit. It's only terrible, man. They, they, yeah. they have burned, Sony had burned a lot of bridges. They had, man. Jesus. This guy's just an actor, man. You know what I mean? Like, Jesus. He's trying to get work. You know, Although I remember mostly. people used to love those campaigns, and I my my thing was okay. The camp the guy's kind of funny, but he's not actually showing the games. So yeah. you're kind of defeating the entire purpose of the ad campaign. I mean, their their campaign now hasn't really got much better. Where you got them just advertising the multiplats or whatever. But um, you know what I mean? It's like that that that's the change. You know what I mean? They took over. They tried to copy what Microsoft did towards the end of last generation because it was so successful. It was. Yeah. You know, it was very successful. It was it was very successful. It wasn't just what uh, a lot of gamers, you know, hard, weren't happy with. Although it. the hardcore gamers weren't happy, you used to hear, "Well, where's yeah. the new IP? Or where's this? Or where's yeah, that?" Yeah, you know, yeah. I, mean, you know, I was happy because I was playing buying. I was playing Call of Duty every year. I was playing yeah. Gears every other year. I was playing Halo every other year. Yeah, you know, I was they, playing you know, Forza every year. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, you. I mean, it is a big contrast from the original Xbox and all those, you know, great unique exclusives. And then to what the 360 end up being, you know, at the end of the day, it was very commercial, you know, very, very, yeah. like what kept me, I'll be honest with you, was Xbox Live, it was just second, you know, I'm all live, you're like, I'm like, it's all, but I got a question for you guys, if you were a consumer, and, and you're, and you're sitting on the fence, and looking to buy either Xbox One or a PS4, would you feel comfortable in buying a PS4, seeing what Sony's going through? There's a company in the whole. Well, I don't think yeah. most consumers that go out are, are, you know, going to the GameStop and saying, "Can you show me a?" No, no, I'm talking about someone that's, you know, what I mean, look, someone that's in the loop. You know, what I mean, is not, you know, that's aware of what's going on. You know, I'm not talking about a mom and pop that's 85 yeah. years old. Well, you know what? Old. I did, I did see some people when I posted that SOE video. I did a video on that today too. I saw people in the comments go, "Well, now I'd be worried to even buy a PS4." Because who knows if they're going to support it? Well, I'm sure. I mean, it's you know, and my my comment would be they're still going to get some third party stuff. Um, you know what I'm saying? They're probably still gonna, yeah, they're still going to get um, you know a couple of big titles a year at least. So I mean, that, that was my whole perception. You know what I'm saying? Like how it looks from from our standpoint. Hey, but but if anybody good. if anybody out there is still under the illusion that it's going to get, just look at the games that they hype up. It's like No Man's Sky. They hype up indies like triple A's now. You know what I mean? So, so if you're under the delusions that the P, that they're gonna get the same kind of games that the PS3 get, That's like look, I, I, I watch this dude on YouTube, okay. Metal, G, Metal Jesus, right? He just did this video about all these his top ten exclusives on the PS3, right? And the PS3 had so many damn exclusives. Those days are done and gone, way done and gone. Not yeah. happening again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, that's yeah. that's not happening. Yeah, oh, that's man. what that was my my impression was from from our from a gamer standpoint that. It what it don't look good, you know. what I'm saying when, if it's going to be supported, you know. I think when when customers see that type of stuff, they don't think that it's going to be supported long. So the doom and gloom is what we all talking about, you know. what I'm saying is is that's the perception. What, not, what? might not be the reality, but that's the perception. I you think know? people so, see see something similar like similar lines with Sega and the Dreamcast. I'm not lying. Like there were yeah. some similar type things going on. You know what I'm saying? Like obviously, Sega didn't have the money that Sony has, but there are some parallels there. I'm not going to lie. I was around for that, mm -hmm. and you could see the signs where, okay, uh, this started happening, and then Sega started getting rid of this, or, oh, stop production on this game, or that game. You know what I'm saying? You were hearing the rumors. There's different things going on, you know, shutting down servers for this. Let's face it, SOE, they have to pay for servers for their games. Those That's expensive. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, you know also, what I'm I mean... I mean, they sold SOE. Like I said, the company has had some value because Zipper Entertainment, also, they just closed them down. And that was it. They didn't sell them. No one bought them. They just closed them down. So I, them not making no money, I'm not going with that. It definitely had to have some value or someone wouldn't have bought it. Oh, you know well, they I mean? have they have quite a few. EverQuest is a pretty big deal. That's what I'm trying to say. I mean, it's not the company. Just, they're just losing money because they were just losing money. No one's going to buy someone that's just in debt, so I, I'm not going with that. That to me, that's you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you guys fifty million dollars for something that's already losing. You know what I mean? I, I don't know their numbers. You know what I mean? But I don't think it would just tanking I'm money. I'm gonna assume they would be in the hundreds of millions, to be honest with I'm you. I'm just saying, if, I'm just being honest. If they were tanking money, no one's gonna come in. And bet, no firm is gonna come buy them from you and let, give you here, let you you know stand on your own. Like that to me, that doesn't really make good business sense. You know, to me, you know, uh, someone's gonna go out and buy you. You're already losing money. No, 
Um, I, I think, again, that was a last dish effort by Sony to keep the lights on, keep the church in the back to pay the investments. Obviously, you know what I mean? Sucks as the first to go, but that's, like, again, we downplay regardless if you like those games or not. That's huge. Sony Online Entertainment. How long has that been around? Since the PS2 ever? Like, you know what I mean? Games, you know, EverQuest, like, that's huge. You know, it's not my type of thing. You know, my son's into that weird old shit, but, you know, that's, you know, DC Universe, or whatever else they were working on. And they got to bring all their intellectual properties with them. The Planet Size 2, and if you're into that, I mean, it has a cult following, you know. Now I don't want to hear Sony fans saying, oh, that game was trash. You guys are just hyping it up, you know. You know, we get this, we get that, we get that, and now the game is trash. Now it's yeah, over. yeah, you know that's so funny. That but, uh, hey, so someone, this is funny, right? Like mm-hmm. everybody, even even your boy Jay Barry was like, "Planet Side Two, 1080p, it's it's awesome. Mm-hmm. It's got mm-hmm. how many like thousands of people fighting at the same time? Uh-huh. It just uh-huh. said, it just Go said a PlayStation, 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 yeah, PlayStation, yeah. Let's PlayStation, go. PlayStation One, let's do it, right? And, and so so now it's coming, it's gonna end up on the Xbox as well. And so you look at like places like NeoGaf, and they're like, well, that's they're not real developers, so they're just free to play <laughs> games anyway. Who cares, right? I mean, seriously. <laughs> all right, see, and look, and there are places reporting on this, right, like GameSpot and all the typical stuff. They're reporting this because it's big news and they have to, but there's no doom and gloom slant to any of it whatsoever, none. Where you know, if, if crazy. Microsoft, yeah, if yes, Microsoft were to have done right, this, right. and we all know, hey, worry, won't you even admit that? Look, if Microsoft were to say, okay, we're selling off this division, how much doom and gloom would there be in the media right now? Yeah, and I mean, on, there, and from everybody, there there is a general double standard that's been going on. Yes, I, 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 very I, much so. Very, very much so. Very, very, very much so. And I, and the Microsoft is not. Anyone keeps saying that the Xbox division is losing money. Where and how? Like you know what I mean? Like in the same like you don't invest billions of dollars in something that's losing money. Like I, you know, I don't see it. And yeah, well, well, it's funny because when they posted their financials, right, which they had, which included restructuring from the Nokia deal, right, mm-hmm. which is why, which is why that division was down because the Xbox is lumped in with that as hardware, mm-hmm. yeah. right, and so it was down a little bit. So IGN and all these places ran with the story. Oh yeah, that Xbox, did. that Xbox was down. Yeah, uh, yeah, you know, but, uh, you know. That was the, that was the title was, on every one of those gaming sites for the it past was. week. Xbox I was like, are you serious? Yeah. I was like, are you kidding me? Nothing about just... PlayStation division is nothing about Sony's really down. No, they yeah. sold 6.6 million uh, units uh, between what 360 and Xbox One. We when we're we're guessing this is totally guessing, but we said it was around mm-hmm. four million probably for the X One. You know, mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. when how's that down? Well, listen, this has been going on for a long time. Sites that. You know, people people do this. Sites do this. When people do it, it's not that big a deal because people aren't paid. When sites right. do it, it's kind of a big deal. But listen, mm-hmm. eventually, eventually, somebody has to take the high road and move on. You know what I'm saying? Oh. And just report on just report on what's what's happening. Well, well, you, you see, know, what's happening is that people aren't aren't hitting these sites like they used to, which is why like Joystick is shutting down and things like that because you need these sensationalized. Titles to bring people in, yeah. I mean, and, and as entertainers on YouTube, we kind of do that too, but we aren't paid journalists. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I mean, there's, there's, there's saying, a slight you know? shift. There's a slight shift going on at IGN now. A couple of the guys that were behind the camera are now in front of the camera, yeah. and yeah. they don't pay nearly the amount of bias attention on Sony. They'll give a compliment once and again, and there's still a couple of the hardcore guys like that, Destin Lagari, and them that just love Sony, and that's just all it is. But but it, it is becoming a little bit more tolerable, just like to see. And like you said, we're, I, mean, I know we're on one side of this, but I really do want to see a 50-50 playing field. I don't want to tune into IGN tomorrow and it's just like, we love Xbox and there's banners up. I want it to be 50-50, but like, I haven't found that one site that's been the bigger man, as you put it, and has both, yeah. you know, just like, give us the news. You know, that's all we want. I go to Xbox yeah. Mad. I go to Xbox Mad. That's where I go. I go to Xbox Mad. <laughs> I do because uh, just for my Xbox news, and I go yeah. to everywhere else for for the Sony news. Because um, the Goo Platoon sends us any any negative stuff on Sony we need. So yeah, yeah. that yeah. and 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 <laughs> you can find just about everything you want to find on Twitter. So. People yeah, that's what I'm saying. The, the, the Google time. Platoon tweets us, man. They're, they're the ones that tweet us. They keep us in the know. Yeah. They're like, they want to see us do content on this stuff, and so they tweet it to us, and then we do the videos, and then it's like it, it all it works, you know what I'm saying? And that's, yeah. you know, and, and the whole reason is, is not because necessarily you hate Sony, but if you look at them, how the mainstream media is, you yes. almost feel like you've got to change it up a little bit. Like, they hate on Xbox, and, 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 and we balance that out. 
You know what I mean? Sometimes, yeah, yeah. people might feel that we're fanboys. Hey, I at least admit that I'm a, I prefer Xbox. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, yeah, we should do it. <laughs> but you know, yeah. you know what disgusts me? Someone that acts like in the engine acts like they're neutral. And it's that's, uh, that's like, terrible. There's a lot of yeah, that. You know what I mean? Like this shit they were doing. Yeah, that is hard. Hey, hey, worry, hey, worry. How many times have people been like, man, you you talk to crab gamer? He's such a fucking corporate slave. And then you see <laughs> check out his feed, and that dude's like all Sony. Yeah, that's <laughs> well, that's why that, that's what I mean when I say you know there's a difference between doing it on on YouTube and there's a difference between getting paid to do it. You mm -hmm. know. Yeah, I'm the first one to say I'm an entertainer. I'm not a yeah. journalist. I don't want to be a journalist. I'm an entertainer. Mm -hmm. It's fun. It's that's all it is. What else? Yeah. You're racist. You're an entertainer. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> yeah, man. People were just starting to forget about that racist stuff. Too. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no. But that, you know, that's why again. You know, that's why I, I, it, it is. It's an unfair balance of Microsoft heat. Unwanted, you know, heat, whatever. Like I'm saying, Mike, no matter what Microsoft does, one little thing, oh man, it's doom and gloom, get rid of the Xbox division. I like, you know, yeah, you know like I tell them, you don't want the Xbox division to go anywhere. You don't want Sony to be the only show in town. You don't. And it's the same thing for, you know, man, I'm being honest, I couldn't imagine, you know, not they're not being the PlayStation. I'm just being honest. Not even, I can't even imagine they're not being a Sony brand TV or anything like that. That's just like, God damn, you know. I, I don't know. Like I was asking, what what the fuck could they cut the fat off? Like you know, imagine not having Sony. You know, their, what's the name of them? What's the name? Sony Pictures. That's huge. You know, Columbia Records. Whatever. That's huge. You know, like damn. Mm -hmm. What could they cut the fat off already? You know what I mean? I understand that movies are not. Just, you know, people are you know download movies and all not going to be really used to, and people are you know doing the free music thing. So like you know, I don't you know I don't understand. Like what could they already cut the fat that don't they already? Like, God damn, you're selling buildings. Now, that's why I don't understand. You said the video game, no one said the game. they make money with the games. But then you massive layoffs at Naughty Dog, Sony Santa Monica. You know what I mean? You know, like, this, is what you should be, this is what you should be doubling down on to me. If this is what makes you money. You know, you know, and to be honest, this is what makes you money. This is what you should be doubling, not selling. And I, I don't buy the fact, oh, Sony, SOE was losing money. If they were hemorrhaging money, no one's going to come out and give you millions of dollars or something that's not making any money. And I'm not buying that. It's bullshit. You know, that, that business doesn't work that way. You you know, you're not gonna sell someone to stay on the beach. You yeah, have this company here is hemorrhaging money. All right, and I'm gonna come bail you out. No, uh-uh, uh-uh. I think this was a last ditch effort. You know, just like I said, to put some cash in. And the same thing when that guy, the the, the uh, I forgot his name, the, the chief financial officer, when he took his billion dollars back out of Sony, the first thing Sony did was dump their stocks from Square Enix. First thing he did, <laughs> dump their stocks from Square Enix. I didn't even know they owned you know uh, owned a nice bit of stock in Square. I didn't even know that. And most people didn't, but that's the first thing they did. You know, they needed some cash in. There. They needed some cash. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna say this because you know just with everything that's going around with Sony right now, um, with they have they have this deadline that they have to give their financial report and everything like this. A lot of this do look suspicious. Like it's just you know what I'm saying yeah, like this last I'm minute. Saying. You know, you know, boom, boom, boom. You know, so it does feel last minute, but it could be it's been in the works for a long time. But I, we really don't know. We really don't know because we're not in their meetings. We're not in what they do. But from the outside looking in, it looks rushed. Hey, hey, showstopper! Look, look. This could have been in the way. They could have been feeling for this for a while, and then we're forced forced to pull the trigger all of a sudden. You know what I'm saying? Right. But, oh, crap, but either way, but you talk, like, the whole the day in the age of the internet when secrets are not secrets anymore, we know about the whole E3 list before the shit comes out. We knew about the specs of the Xbox One and the PS4 before they came out. No one keeps secrets around here. This shit came out of nowhere. Bam. You know what I mean? Yeah, like I, 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 I'm not going. You know, I'm not saying maybe they say, hey, well, we can do this, we can do that. But this overnight, hey, you know, this effectively immediately right now. You would have a, a disgruntled employee within, you know, probably <coughs> SOE saying mention something somewhere. You know what I mean? Bring a big story like but this. But what makes it don't what what kind of like for me not really believing that it, it wasn't just overnight. The buyer had to been asking for a while. Yeah, it doesn't. You know what I'm saying overnight. it just don't happen overnight. Well, so that buyer has to has to be sitting here requiring it, sitting here saying, "Look, I want it. I want the studio. I want the studio." You know, boom, boom. But Sony have to also 
make that studio available for them to even want to require it. So well, maybe it's it's, like we really that. don't know, man. We really don't know. Maybe it's a but, request, but, though. You know what I mean? Where they, they had something where this offer was on the table, but the, the effect that was that Sony needed the money pretty darn quick, especially for these reports they have to have due in two weeks. And they were probably like, right. Right, we'll take it. But that's still desperate. It doesn't matter how you look at it. <laughs> but the thing is, this company came out of nowhere. I don't even know who this company is. We probably won't. Anybody know anything about this company? No, yeah, I mean, it's, I think they're pretty big, though. They have a lot of intellectual Listen, problems. show, just to give you an example, I didn't know who the hell Mark Cuban was till he bought the Mavericks, but apparently he was huge in the tech industry. I didn't yeah, know, you know, know who he was. You know I mean, there's a lot of these big tech companies out there. They, they got millions to spend. We don't know who they are until they start buying someone like Sony products or they buy an NBA team. I'm like, man, where, where, the, where in the world did this company come from? It bro? was I'm like, man. Yeah. But it's, anyway, it just feels... It feels out of, it feels just rushed. It does, it does. But, but it's not a good sign. I don't care how you spin it, you know, whether they you know, it's not a good sign. When you start selling off intellectual properties, you know, your company, your first party studios, it's not a good sign. <coughs> it's not you know, I mean people can say all you want, oh the PlayStation brand is profitable and whatever. I don't whatever, eighteen you can stream that eighteen point five to the cows come on, bro. That's not bringing any money, you know what I mean? You can you know what I mean but it is what it is, like I said, you know, I don't want anyone to be out of a job. I like, you know, competition is good. I like, well, let me say this. I'm not saying, I, I don't like the fact all the hate that Microsoft received because, like I said, I, I would thought it was a world. That's a great product that they have. You know what I mean? Do I think do I think Sony deserves that being front? No, I think the Xbox has a better a better package. But by Sony getting, you know, what they get, you know, and make, you know, uh, how you say Microsoft go out and lobby for our dollars even harder. You know, double down on it. I'm glad, like I said, you know, we got a, a person like Phil Spencer, you know, the head of the realm, like, hey, you think, you know, games. I mean, and I'm not talking about the bullshit game. Like, come on, Tomb Raider, that's huge. You know what I mean? Scalebound, huge. Uh, Quantum Break, huge. You know what I mean? They, and they said that game is going to be the most, one of the most ambitious games of ambitious games of all time. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? And that, to me, I think that's what's huge, and that's what counts. And when it comes to that, Sony cannot compete. They can't. They, you know what I mean? They don't have it. You know what I mean? They talking about digital actors and they spend a nice piece of change with making Quantum Break, man. Like Fable Legends, that's huge. You know what I mean? Like, I can't wait to see what's coming out in 2016. You know? Yeah. You know, we have to I, I, I remember Z, you did that one show. I hope, I hope what you said was accurate because I, I do believe that. Oh yeah, yeah. That's the fact that it's Mass Effect Four, or it's going to be another game. It's going to be another big AAA. By you know an outside developer, we also have a, 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 another AAA multi I don't Yeah, they're going to scoop either. another one up. I really think it's Mass Effect. I just think there's a lot of history there. If if there's I the think, B one, you know what? I think it's going to be honestly. I think it's going to be something from. I think it's going to be uh, Fallout or something like that. Are um, oh, you going to be more? Like that? Into, I'm not somebody. Like, you know, I don't think EA. That is Mass Effect is kind of huge right now. And uh, you know, well, the I thing about Mass Effect is, listen. Here's the way I look at it: You've got Sony never really did well with two and three, okay? Because it was primarily put on one was. So they can do this deal with Microsoft and know they're not going to lose a major amount of sales on Sony's end, and Microsoft can make that up. I mean, there's not oh, a yeah, lot. I mean, I mean, I mean, it was a safe it, it, bet. That would be huge, though. Mass Effect. Now, listen. Don't get me wrong. I'm mean, if you cut between the two Tomb Raider and Mass Effect, to me, I think much Mass Effect is much bigger than Tomb Raider. I love Tomb Raider, but that Mass Effect happened. Yeah. To me, per, I, Mass Effect. Ooh. Mass Effect. Uh, yeah. What do you think is bigger, woman? Mass Effect or Tomb Raider? Mass I, I'm with Tomb Raider, I'm, man. I'm with Mass Effect. I would I mean, go with Mass Effect. I'm with Tomb Raider. Yeah. 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 Mass Effect Raider. 3 was huge, man. If you, play, if you play Mass Effect 2 and 3, Sean, yes, sir. It's, one, it's all yeah, about yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I played it. One was okay. Right. I didn't really care. One was I, but 2 and 3 was epic. You know, I like the shooting mechanics. Like, that shit was hard body, you know what I mean? Like I said, yeah. you know, I like Tomb Raider, it's nice. And Tomb Raider is big. God damn, Mass Effect? Oh, yeah. I, I mean, discussing those two actual, those two brands, there's no loser. But I'm saying, like, Mass Effect to me is, it's everything. It's that shooting. It's the story. The story's so damn deep. Man, it's unbelievable. That, that's that, that's a real find if they can. Well, Mass Effect is an RPG, and Tomb Raider is an yeah. adventure yeah. game, despite, yeah, what, despite what Coach D thinks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, y'all can hate all y'all want to. You know what I'm saying? That don't bother me at all. Pick on the sickly. Yeah, man, I was through. Who are these shot now? 
so wow, man. But yeah, man, back like I said, but well, here's something we can take uh, you know, take a uh, change the topic here. We didn't get to discuss this as a whole. Um, Sega, uh, they're having financial woes. And what scares me about this when they say they're looking to get away from everyone, get away from console gaming. More they're going to go to mobile and PC, which it, which I means that they're free to play. You know, I mean, do you think that or maybe, like I said, I don't know if they're up for sale or whatever the case. Do you think they'll be they be willing to sell off some of their IPs because, like, you know, I talked about it on um, Shot to Iron Wolf and those guys. Talk about it on their show. They got some classics, man. Oh, you know, Ultra Beast. Even they can remake some of those games, like Streets of Rage and with some next generation graphics and sell them like a twenty dollar indie game. That'll be you. That'll bring us some revenue. Who would want to buy that? You know, a Streets of Rage or an Ultra Beast or a Golden Axe. You know, a twenty dollar title with some next. It'd probably graphics. be pretty cheap, like to be honest with you, to buy some of those franchises because they haven't used them in so long. So yeah, long. Yeah, yeah, you know. But I'm just saying. But that will, you know, you know, even. They, yeah, I don't know what like I know Steam three, but that was very. It's crazy. only it's only about a few of them that I want. Shamu is at the top of that. But I'm just but think about what Sega owns though. Like I said, you got they. Now, I think Sony. I mean, Sega has kind of did the the, the, the Sonic thing to death. But I mean, but they Ultra Beast, Golden Knack, Streets of Rage, Space Harriet. What else they got? Shit. Uh, a, a Jet Set Radio, Crazy Taxi. Mm-hmm. They told Virtual Fighter, I like Virtual Fighter, but Microsoft is not going to invest in another fighter. Virtual Fighter, what else they got? Condemned, I like the first one especially. Actually, Condemned, um, uh, there was some news about that today. In fact, it's not owned by Sega, it's an independent developer. It's, it's yeah. supposed to be a, 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 a single a smaller title, though, right? Maybe a smaller yeah, but yeah, see how yeah. they're doing it? See how they're doing it? Like anything for like 20 bucks or something like that? But again, you know, uh, I, I didn't even know Sega. Oh, they they own Bayonetta. <coughs> I, I heard they had something. Uh, no, they, they, they publish. They publish it. Platinum Games owns it. No, but I I, I thought the same thing too because I was just sent me something. They they had something they could do with two still because I was uh I, I just uh, Iron Wolf inboxed me something uh from Wikipedia or something. They still I don't know they I don't know they still Sega has something to do with um um. Bayonetta 2 also, you know what I mean? But again, I, I, I think with Phil Spencer behind the the helm, I don't think you're going to see anything like that. I don't think they're going to acquire any of it. I really don't. I don't mean to be like boring it, but it's I, I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, they're, they're not. There's like a 0.01%. Yeah. It's just, that's not but, his style. Damn, I don't want to see Sigma. Jesus, I'm just saying they got a lot of shit there just to go cell phone and PC only. Like, come on, yeah. man. But what they might do, I, that sucks. sucks. Can Sega do the same thing like Crystal Dynamics do them, where they're like, oh, you guys want to make an Alter Beast? That's fine. It's still our IP. But they are. Most of the Sonic games have been, we have been. Right, Nintendo. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying, I don't think, unless it's done right, and I don't know Sega still has that same talent in the building. Of course, you get new artists and stuff. But a lot of people might want to know what the fuck an Alter Beast is. It's being nice, you know? If they put, I'm saying they do it right, you know, I mean, some next generation graphics. You know, not too over the top, like mid B average game and something like twenty fifteen dollars or something. I think it, I think there's money in that, man. You know, going to invest in some of those old IPs is doing digitally. You know, on the Xbox One and the, and the PlayStation Four, fifteen bucks a game. I think they'd be I think they'd do well with that instead of just. I don't want to see. Some, I'm not into the cell phone gaming. You know, that PC free to play shit. I'm not with that. You know what I mean? I you know. I also too they own. I don't. They own the uh the, the rights to uh Alien. You know the the first, the one that came out two years ago was horrible. I heard this one wasn't that bad. You know, but we did know. well on sales, really well. Yeah, oh, I did well. You know, you know. We also you gotta think. You know, most. You know, I think is that because of next these next generation consoles, not much to buy on. You got you probably find the games that would normally wouldn't do well. But you're looking to buy something for your PS4 or for your Xbox One. You want to see these graphics, so everybody got that. Still go out and buy both. You know what I mean? You know, mm-hmm. as, you know, like you know, people, you know, having all these screens. For you, they just release some screens for just cause three. You know, people jumping up and down. I didn't really care for the first two, but you know what I mean? You know. But is there anything else you guys want to address? If you can not go to questions or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to. Uh, <laughs> there, there was, there was a, there was uh, the, uh, the issue. I want to talk a little bit about Sony's terrible revenue sharing plan. Oh, 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 so Nintendo? Yeah, yeah Nintendo. Nintendo. Yeah, Nintendo. Oh, yeah, that's what I meant. Okay, Nintendo, right. has, <laughs> Nintendo has that, ter- has that you're terrible. So, yeah, you're so used to saying Sony. You said Sony. Hey, you know, what? Hey, I, hey, I wouldn't count Sony out of out of doing something similar. They're so they're so cash strapped. But anyway, yeah, Nintendo has a. Ter- I mean, they don't understand that 
YouTube is free um, advertising for them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So if you do any Nintendo videos, they actually have people on there, like, giving you percentage. You only get a percentage of a percentage. So you split if you do AdSense with with the with the AdSense people, with Nintendo. I mean, literally. You know what I mean? It's like the worst deal you could get. Like, they don't understand. They're so old school that they don't understand that YouTube... It's sort of like your parents or whatever, how they don't understand how things work nowadays. You know what? You know, it's crazy, it's sad to say, you know, uh, I'm being honest, even if Microsoft, you know, my Xbox do, even if Microsoft is like, it's, it's hard, I I bought your game, all right, understand what I'm saying, it's, and, and, you know, I can see if some people say that, you know, uh, walkthroughs or, you know, that's like, that's what they feel like, you know, if you see any part of the game online, is that you, you're stealing from them. It's, it's like if someone comes to your house and gets you past a certain point in the game, you still want to experience it for yourself, you understand that? And just because I see someone playing online, I still want to go out and play the game myself, and that they understand. And I think it's wrong with Nintendo. We're talking about they want to take what's a thing, 30, 40 percent, and you got this. Here it is. I add, and you got Worry and Mooch. You guys don't really know. You, you, maybe you, you crap. You may know. Show you may know. You can hear saying you have 100 percent, right? You have 100 percent. Uh, uh, say, say, uh, Army Hammer pays 100 percent to advertise their commercial. On your channel, what we do is like TV, same thing. We have ads that play on our channel. That's how we get paid, right? You have 100 percent. YouTube takes about uh, 45, 50 percent. They get there. Google takes it. Then your partnership, you have about 50 percent left. Your partnership takes whatever they're going to take, and then you're left with that. And Nintendo wants to take 60 percent or 70 percent of what's left and half of what Google takes. You understand? That's that's horrible, man. And then it's going to take about two months to get you. That's wrong, man. You know what? Though? Listen, uh, I, I don't do what you guys do. So, I, I mean, I'm just, you know, I, I don't have that uh, perception about it. You do. But, you know, at the end of the day, it might not be a good thing. But listen, they own the IP, right? It's, it's what? theirs. They own the IP, right? It's their IP. Okay. So, it, you know, whether or not they're doing something, it's, it's a bad move or it's a good move, it's still their IP. So if they want I, to do that, I don't, they can't I don't know. I don't look at I bought their game. It's like telling me, I, some, I bought your game. <coughs> I, I, I bought you. Okay, I am playing it. I am playing it. And I, yeah, but I, I, why does gotta be? Why does Sony? Why does, why does Nintendo gotta be so old school about this stuff? They're like so stuck up and like like no, like your grandpa. Like this. They're, they're, they're listen, here it is. I, there was an article this week about that, and uh, basically Nintendo is what what's called a Kyoto-based company because they're in Kyoto, and they're so different from regular Japanese companies. Like the way Japanese companies are strange to the U.S., that's the way Kyoto companies are strange to Japan. They have a, a hierarchical a, a system where, you know, it's not about who's at the top. If there's a game, if there's anything that that uh, has to do with Nintendo. Every single person within the company has to agree on it. If one person doesn't like it, no matter if the top uh, of the company loves it, if one person says no, then the project's instantly killed. That's that's their their uh, structure. That's how they're set up. So it's old. It's old school. It, yeah. You know, it, it doesn't work too well. Yeah, today. That's why I, it, it yeah it's that's terrible. Why I you got say. you got you got to grow with the times. That's why I always say, and I've been always saying, you got, excuse my French, you got three type of niggas. You got niggas that die before their time, you got niggas that die because they're out of time, you got niggas that die because they're stuck in time, not willing to change the time. And that's written by me, don't steal my shit. And it's Nintendo is the I, I don't think anybody stuck in time. <laughs> yeah, I don't think nobody gonna steal it either. Hey man, I, I got that patent somewhere, I got, I got some patents. That, that's, and I stuck still, I, time, I patented, know. I patented Sony Pony. And they're stuck in time and not willing to change for time. That's what I'm telling you guys. They typically come out with the most powerful console in the world. I still would not buy it. It is 2015, fellas, and they still don't have voice chat mandatory. They have game chat, which means I can't talk in the game. I can only talk in the lobby and if you're on your friends list. Like, who? You know, you understand what I'm saying? I'm a 36 year old man. Like, you know, like what? I don't need that. I don't want that. I'm. A, I, I can't support that. You know what I mean? You know, it's like you know, if, and I, I, Nintendo is not going to wake up and realize until you know people say, you know what, we don't want this. Till you guys get together. That's that's how you hit them in their pockets. That's what makes them change. We can talk about it all day. Like people was up against DRM and Microsoft was losing pre-orders and they changed the shit. What is this? We already getting calls. <laughs> I don't know who that guy is. I'm a block. I'm just not talking for this shit. But 
You know what I mean? That's 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 you know what's gonna have to happen with Nintendo. They need new blood. They need new head fresh. <laughs> hey, listen. I'm gonna I'm gonna block this fucking guy. Maybe it's Raiders. <laughs> no, I'm gonna block him, man. Hold up. You about you just fucked up. I'm watching the show. You just fucked up, bro. Yeah, but you know they need new blood. They need to know what's going on. You know, fucking me and Moto gave an interview with GameSpot. We said in 2013 they just not seen the importance of online game. Like what? What? You know, Xbox Live came out in 2002. You know what I mean? Like you know, they just not. What's, you know, what's that guy? It was a CEO, not CEO. I guess he was an exec at Nintendo, and he gave that letter like you know Nintendo and a bunch of old wigs, or you know basically don't know what the fuck is going on in the industry. You know what I mean? And that's I can't support that, man. You know. More power. I'm not knocking those who like the Mario and all. That's cool, man. But come on, it's 20 fucking 15. Link still doesn't talk. They carry the stuff like goddamn dog. Hey, man, you got to dot that eye, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dot that, dot that fucking eye. Yeah, but yeah. Get real like, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm not with it. But listen, crap. So I guess my well, imagine you show. You're not. You, do you approve of that? No, I mean, I, I would want to have party chat and everything like that. In no, 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 no. I'm talking about with them taking their revenue and stuff. No, I don't people. approve of that. No, I do not approve of that at all. You know what I mean? You know, yeah, like I don't approve of that. Think about it like this. Hey, 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 crap. I'm sorry, Warren. Look at it at this way. And again, how? And, and, and we're small people. How many people come to us every day? Hey, man, I, I bought NBA two players just to play a game with you or whatever you're playing, Warren. And what you get negative? You like that? All right, you know. And we're just small people. It's just small. Whether you like it or not, Warren, you have a you are a quote unquote a slug little bit into this celebrity, and you have a little fame and. What? My game just. <laughs> you might not think you do, but you you're don't. the Sony. You're the yeah. Sony we dude. Yeah, I'm just, saying, I'm just being honest. And even you too, Mooch. You might have someone. Hey, man. You know, oh, you be online with those guys. What are you playing? And you have, you know, we might advertise a game. We do have some advertising. You know, but that, but that doesn't mean that Nintendo play. owes you anything. See, here's the no, thing. No, listen, no, listen. I didn't say they owe me. Any, I didn't say they owe me anything. I guess I'm here. I'm a, I bought your game. I didn't steal your game. Right, but so I bought your game. It's my, it's my property. It's my, I'm not making a copy of your game illegally right. or whatever. I'm not selling it. I just have it in the background while I'm talking about one. I mean, it's it's proven that these walkthroughs. About. It's proven that the walkthroughs and the YouTube channels are actually promoting sure. and helping. Yeah. I mean, but the yeah, one I'm thing not, I'm not, not, but Nintendo gets a pass here, and and not from me, but they get a pass like just uniformly because. You know when you go to a party and there's always like one guy you work with and he's just a quiet dude in the office. Then you go to a party yeah. and he's just quiet at the party, drinking out of that red cup. He ain't talking to nobody. Nobody cares. They're like that dude's always quiet. But me, all of us in this room, we're loud. So if you go yeah. to a party and you're quiet in the corner, you're like, yo, what's wrong with Zaire? What's wrong with him? What's wrong? Like Nintendo's always been, leave us alone. We don't want you looking at our shit. Don't steal our shit. Don't look at us. So they get this pest. They come out with these wacky rules. And nobody, I mean, I know uh, there's a little buzz right now because they just came out with it, but they always get this pass because they're from this one area in Jap Japan. Yeah, yeah, they don't right, do this right. shit. And they get this pass. Tendo. And uh, it, it, to yeah. me, that's the most nerve-wracking part about this. I mean, I'm not in the right. YouTube community like that yet, but, like, literally, that's that's the one thing that bugs me is that nobody nobody seems to care, really. they like, oh, that's all right. That's just Nintendo's policy. That's cool. Yeah, you, you know what? And you're absolutely right, Moose. Everyone said, oh, you know what? That's Nintendo. It's fine, but let me say this, and then we can get off the stuff and go to calls. They said that YouTube is right now the biggest thing with far as game and advertising between 16 and 25 or something. You know, and that's where you have more of Sony and Microsoft advertising their console going on. You know, YouTube is huge, you know what I mean? And you wonder why Nintendo is at where they're at. You don't see people playing their games as much as YouTube, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Big YouTuber person now, because it's a business for them. You know what I mean? And that's why you wonder why they're in third place. This console's been out over two and a half years, two years and three and a half months, and still has only yet nine point two million. And they wonder why. If they can see their favorite YouTube playing, I don't give a fuck how great Bayonetta Two may be. Their favorite YouTube playing Bayonetta Two, hey man, that game is great. You know what I mean? But that your favorite, this is a business for them. You know what I mean? I just think it's wrong, man. I just think that you know the way that they think, the way that they go about it. You know what I mean? They have to, you know, move. You know, I mean, they just can't just stay stuck in time, man. You know, everyone, like I said before, Nintendo should be, they're the grandfather, they should be leading the industry, man. Not so far behind the curve, man. You know, like, God damn, like, enough is enough with this shit, Nintendo. Yeah, I'm probably not the right person to talk about it because I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, we, we, it's, it's, it's so much stuff. I mean, the problem is, Microsoft, right? Microsoft have. 
don't have that. They they allow you to. to yeah. Do well, it. well, here's the you problem know? as far as if you monetize your stuff, right? Um, they're not going to get equal time like on my channel. They're not. Even even if they had like the best games, a lot of times I think it's not worth putting in the money or the time because that takes my time and I yes. and I'm not Good getting point. anything out of that. Good point. Good point. Good point. You Good know, point. not everybody and might feel that way, but but that's just the truth. You're and not you are the most compelling. You know, I, I mean? am, man. If I, I'm not gonna waste. I'm not gonna waste good compellingness on stuff that I'm not gonna get paid for. Mm. Yo, Z, real quick, uh, little yes. halftime show here. Shout out to uh, Jay Williams at Graphic God. He's shout, uh, out Williams. Shout, shout out to Jay Williams. Shout out to, shout out to Jay. Hey, Yo, Jay Williams. I'm waiting on my my. Uh... No, he just wrote me. He said, "You tell Show to get a hold of me. I'm gonna take care of him right away." He just said, "Okay, okay. Oh, cool, 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 cool." He's cool. Take care of you. Uh, um, nah, see, there you go, crap. Listen, if you guys are calling, if you want to have a, ask a question or whatever, you can call live and do a few of those. But I had the first one, I almost forgot. Uh, shout out to, shout out to uh, my man, my bro Roscoe, a.k.a. Thor. Um, he said, uh, Xbox, okay, he said, you know, with all these updates, basically with the Xbox one again, when do you think we're going to get a voice check? Um, I'm sorry, voice messaging. I'm sorry, voice oh, messaging. Oh, I think that's I one of the so. top. That's one of the top things on there. Can right? I, let, me, let me ask you a question though. Um, why is that such a big? Why is that such a big deal? What's this? It's it's, it's, it's easier. easier. It's easier because because, because easier. like so I don't know. That? Yeah, I don't know if you uh, you might do, if you get a lot of messages on on oh, yeah, Xbox exactly. Live. I, I get I get about twenty five a day. You just don't want to type them. You mean? You yeah, know. like I don't like typing. Yeah, you just don't want to type them. I, just I, 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 I could easily, I could easily just go rack them on a voice message and send that easier than. Uh, yeah, and it's something that we always had, something that's yeah. been there. Yeah. Yeah. People think I'm crazy. That's what, I use that all the time on 360. I never typed anything. Yeah, I never yeah, typed. You know, well, I had a chat pad, and then that was okay. But yeah, the. the I simply got some or third party chat pads. I'm not buying them. Yeah, I, almost, was, I literally almost bought one, and crap, maybe it was you when we were talking offline one day, but. I was like, yo, I'm gonna get that. And someone's like, yeah, but you have smart glass. I was like, oh shit, that's right. Yeah. I, I, I almost picked it up. I almost picked it up. I thought it was cool. Okay. Well, here's the thing: you can't, you can't use a, uh, you can't hook up a headset or something at the same time as that, though. Nope. So. Yeah. But they have, they do have the turtle beaches that are coming out that's, that are wireless. Yeah, I got the Stealth 500. It's the wireless ones. I love them. They just came out. Yeah. I'm a little pissed off. I got the 500Xs came out in October. And now they got the yeah. 800 elites coming out like in a month. I'm yeah, like, so I'm talking about at least 7.1 or something. I'm about to out. sell these before that, that comes out. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, that, listen, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching live, if you have any questions, you want to come on the air and ask your questions, um, now is the time. Yeah, it's <laughs> oh, oh, so right. put it Put it out there. Say your question and hang up. You know what I'm saying? Hey, and then we'll man. respond. They love us, man, because crap is the most compelling. Hell uh, yeah. Hey, hey, I'm, 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 I'm it'd be people uh, calling, and we trying to get through them, but it'd be people calling. Yeah, so we want to yeah, answer yeah, it and keep so it moving. Know, the, Skype, the Skype to call is Zaire seven twenty. Zaire seven twenty, yeah. Z a i r e seven two zero. Call right now if you have a question. You want to talk live on the air? You can. Um, oh no, we didn't talk about crap. Wait, wait, so you have any questions in the comment section? You see what's going on with the video? And it's nine sixty. Jesus, nine seven to nine seventy. No, I haven't seen it. Oh man! Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a lot, of, a lot of Twitter act activity right now. That that J Jay Smedley from the H1Z1. He's Larry Herb just <coughs> tweeted out. Looking forward to working with you, and they're going back and forth. Oh, yeah. Well, goodness. well, the creator of DC Universe Online was already like, "Hey, who wants to see this on Xbox?" You know what I yeah, mean? So. <laughs> They, they, they selling it. They trying to sell their game, man. Yeah. <laughs> that ain't no wrong with it, though. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? you Heck know yeah, man. They, 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 they see a whole nother platform, boy. They, they it's ready. A, this, this is what happened, though. An investment firm worth fifteen billion bought them, and so mm -hmm. they obviously want to see their investment return. And to do that, you have to. All right, Jeffrey. What you call him, yeah. Jeffrey? Of uh, Miami. Miami, Jeffrey. Hey, Miami. Miami. What's going on? How can we help you today, good brother? God bless. Hold you on, Michael Smith. Say that the whole outrage from Tomb Raider is going to scare developers from working with Microsoft. What? I'm sorry. What happened? 
do you guys think that the develop, the the outrage from Tomb Raider from the Sony fanboys is gonna scare developers no. away from working with Microsoft? Uh, it's, it's money and it's business. No one's scared of money, man. Hey, but, yeah. You know, at the end of the day, by someone being um, I guess displeased or something or whatever the case, it's it's all about money. Nobody getting killed. It's money, man. People can talk yeah. with you, man. It's money and it's business. Is business, man. You know, um, business mm-hmm. is business. Another they next call. Another call. <laughs> another call from Michael Smith. That sounds like a legit name. Yep. Michael Smith. What's going Hello? on, Michael? How am I helping you today, good brother? What's up? What's going on? Call from Florida. Call from Florida. Another Florida's in the house today. What's going on, man? Yeah. Um, today I was watching the first 18 minutes of Bloodborne. Okay. And when the dude was walking. It reminds me of what Showstopper would be saying. That sneaky kid. Sneaky kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There he is. You know it, bro. You seen the cape. I know you saw it. You seen the little tippy toes. <laughs> you seen the little tippy toes. <laughs> you seen the little tippy toes. <laughs> you seen the little tippy toes. Hey, I did a video like that once. You guys remember that? I was like, I was like, yeah. official, I was like official Bloodborne for this. And I, I, cap, I cap-carded <laughs> speaking. Yeah, Price Davis, where you calling from? I'm from New York. New York. New What's York. Going, God bless. What's your question for the show today? <coughs> question is, due to the fact that um, Columbus and Nova bought um, Sony Online Entertainment, do you think, due to the fact that it's coming to Xbox One, is going to also come to Windows 10, the Xbox app? Yes. Oh, I think the, yes. Uh, I think oh, the go ahead, worry. I think all those MMOs, they, they're really, really made for uh, PC in general. Mm-hmm. So I think that they're definitely going to come to Windows. It was, it was coming to PC first. It don't matter the operating system. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, you're going to see it. They already said multi-platform. They even said yeah. mobile. So you know whatever. Yeah, there's, they, yeah. there's nothing wrong with being everywhere. Yeah, you know. Yeah, that's, right. that's how that's how you make you, money. Could they could they be excited to work on Windows 10? I know it's new and everything like that. Well, you know, working on Windows all the time. There's more more tools, more more capabilities, more yeah. you can do a lot more with it. I know, that's this show. They work on when they PC first primarily. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's not nothing new. You know, um, if anything, it was more on the cons- console aspect. But they work they, all their games can be PC and <coughs> Windows. Um. Okay. Um. You, you see any questions in the comment section? You guys see this is pretty good. Hold on. I'm 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 refreshing this page right now. Um. Here, this guy says, "What do you guys think of the Sony fan base being called Sony Ponies, or Sony Phonies instead of Sony Ponies?" <laughs> uh, I, I never I heard him called. I never heard him called Phonies before. Some Phonies before. Yeah. Uh, I I really don't have you know. Both both it's... are both are apt. Yeah. What the fuck is this, man? Hold on. Put him on the air. Yeah. <laughs> that ought to go well. Who cares? Hey, man? Dalton, what's going on, man? You keep calling. What's up? He was calling live on the show. What's up? Hello. Now, now he doesn't want to talk. Hello. I'm gonna block his ass. Pussy. Hello. <laughs> hey, <you're there? laughs> Z quick to block. <laughs> Yeah, because I blocked him. You call talking weird, you're going to get the click of real quick. I blocked him on the, on, on the uh, PC, but he's still able to get through on my um, on my phone. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the grown-ass man being a widow with call and breathe? Jesus. <laughs> I'm crying. I'm crying. It's okay. The Sony's still working. It's still in business, man. We see anything else there? Anyone talk any other questions? Hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm refreshing this page once again. Um, let's see. A lot of comments. Yeah, Hold on. Oh, well, somebody thinks Warrior Wart's the voice of reason as usual. Okay, but listen, Andy. Smart person. Hey, hey, hey Andy. <laughs> friend, I see you watching this show live for the first time. We appreciate it. If you have Skype, you guys can call in. Like this is something. Yeah. What if some of you guys get like? It takes like about three minutes to install Skype, and yeah, then you guys you know, call and be a part of the show. You guys are all. This is guy Andy again. What the fuck? <laughs> Answer it, man. Put him on the air. Oh, okay. We got someone here, the crow. What's going on, the crow? Where are you calling from? Hello. The crow? Hey, crow is uh, is that the one dude? I don't know. Yeah, Xbox. Yeah, Xbox dude. Yeah, yes, he has a um. 
Your mic uh, uh, is channel. Muted. If you can hear your us, mic is muted. Yeah, if you can hear us, Crow, your mic is muted. Um, and I can't hear you. So that's what I'm going to hang up, Crow. Yeah, yeah, he got he got to get his mic fixed. So All right, uh, uh, next. Stuff. Any any questions in the? Uh... Hold on, I'm, let me let me like recycle this thing real quick. But yeah, any of you guys out there that want to be, you guys always ask. How many people ask us? Like 10, 15 a week. Hey, can I be on the show? Look, download Skype. You can call in the show, shoot the shit with us for a few minutes, whatever. You know, if we're not busy or whatever. Otherwise, you know, just get in your question and. No, hey, over... What's going on? I see you watching the show. Call in. Here we go, Crow again. Crow? Crow? Yes. Yeah, there's something wrong with his eye. Uh... Crow. Crow. I can hear you now, Crow. Daryl Thornton. That's it. Uh, that's, uh, that's Big Kahuna. Big, big, big Kahuna. Big Kahuna. <laughs> I haven't talked to him in a while. Get him in. Yeah, I have a <laughs> You guys. What's, hey, up? what's up, hey, Kahuna? Hey, Big Kahuna, I seen that you sent me a party invite the other day, but I, I missed it. Yeah, Kahuna, Kahuna, he never goes to parties, man. He, <laughs> he doesn't even game with me, man. He doesn't game at all. I know this. I know this. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, being that, uh, you know, the Xbox One is getting uh, Windows 10, and I've seen some pictures of it, do any of you guys like the way it looks? Hell yeah! Yeah, the dashboard. Well, it's kind of cluttered to me, you know, with a lot of stuff everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I think most people are used to that tile system by now. You either love it or hate it. There's no in between. You know what I mean? I like it. You know, I like like a lot of people put down the Xbox One dashboard. They say it's clunky and slow. I did a real time demo on mine, and people were like, "Is that real or did you edit it?" No, I didn't edit it. It just was that fast for me. I mean, sometimes it can be. A little bit weird, but for the most part, I think it runs really well. I, I like it. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, I I, 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 I like it. Uh, I'm ex- actually I'm excited, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, get a, you know play my game, my 2K or whatever in the bed. I think my Windows with this Windows 10 is going to extend my gaming time. I'm gonna be playing in the bedroom and you know. You be playing in the bedroom. You gonna play some of that uh, PS4 that uh. <laughs> playing in the bedroom. You know what I mean? Playing in the bedroom. Oh my God! This fuck. How the fuck does he get this guy's a hacker or something? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's a different guy. Yeah. Hello. Okay. I would... uh, what's up, Andy Pelton? You're live on here. What's your question? I just wanted to ask you guys how how does it feel to watch this plan to be uh, unfolding before our eyes now? What plan is this, good brother? You know the whole plan with the Xbox One and uh. Microsoft in general and Sony folding. I think it's been uh, it's been said around. What the? Sony may be uh, as far as the games of this maybe completely different. Okay. Um. Okay. Well, I, well I, listen again. Like we said, you didn't hear. You know, we're not. We don't want Sony to go out of business. We're not saying that. I just no, think. No, no, no. Uh, we're not saying that. We're saying it's not be the same that they are now. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. You talking about a Sony, a Sony of the old? Is what you're saying? Yeah. yeah. Is Sony of the old? Well, uh, is that is that saying that Sony as a service in 2018, not, not Sony as direct competition for Microsoft? Oh, I got you. What you're saying? He's saying, okay, Warry, you guys here. This is what he's saying. What do you feel you know, about Sony? You know, more or less, like we said before, we talked about it in the summertime. That that would be big for PlayStation to have their actual games on, you know, made available right. like Netflix. Right. On other cons- uh, competing consoles and stuff like you know, well, on I, th- or- I think everyone eventually is going to go to uh, you know streaming services, and eventually Xbox Live will just be Xbox, and PlayStation Network will just be PlayStation. I, I think they're going to change that I, I hope to that just Windows. Soon. I, I no, but no. What he's saying is though, maybe being able to play the actual PlayStation game on the uh, Xbox One and on the Wii U or whatever, like like Netflix or something. Uh, I don't see that happening anytime soon. Well, I'm just saying what that is. I, I, I think what will happen sooner than that is maybe some place where these will go to PC. Okay, all right, all right, all right. All right, uh, we're going to go. I predict that... Uh, Can't hear. Anything happens will be next year, and that's what Sony sells. 
That dude right. already asked a question that he's hard to hear. Let's get the other okay. question. All right. So the next he's going to make a prediction. The next big thing, Sony's going to sell back. All right. All right. I got three more calls here. And we, we can get what's, what's going on, Rob? Where are you calling from? Yo, I'm, com I'm calling from New York. Okay. What's going oh, on? Okay. Yo, what's up? Hey, what's up? What's mm -hmm. going on, bro? What's up? <laughs> You guys did a video about the forum post I did. I thought it was pretty funny. What? Oh, what? I'm sorry. What, what post? Who did um, the video? I'm the one that said that you guys, uh, that you, next gen, I said that you were um, one of the most influential people over time. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, okay. You, okay. you did the VG I charts one. Some of VG charts? Talk about VG charts. Yeah, hey, bro, appreciate it, man. Starting up, uh, listen, man, I appreciate it. I got a lot of traffic from my channel from that. I appreciate the love and support. Man. I thought it was hilarious, man. That, yeah, that was pretty funny. Yeah, thank you, man. I, seriously, they bro, I'm not even being a smart-ass thing. I, I, listen, I got a sense of humor like a motherfucker, man, and I, I don't mind laughing at myself. That was some funny shit, bro. Dude, I'm glad you appreciated it. Yeah, I like, did. It's, it's a joke as it was. Yeah. Um, hey, yeah. hey, but 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 real talk, real quick though. What other podcast does call-ins? I mean, that's pretty revolutionary, right? Dude, it's pretty cool. Like I'm Same. not gonna lie, I watch your guys's like podcasts like fucking all the time. Yeah, it's very entertaining. So. It, yeah, that, that's what it is, man. It's entertainment. It's all it's all for fun, man. man. What you do is start another poll, start another post, and meet the charts talking about this podcast, man. We appreciate it. God bless, bro. Oh man, that was that's the guy that started thread about us. Was, yeah, that was that was so funny too because they had all your quotes and stuff. It was what's hilarious. The crow, what's going on, good brother? What's good, man? Can you hear me? Yeah, we can yeah, hear we're you. Yeah, we're here right now, man. Where are you from, man? All right, all right, man. Um, my question for y'all is, um, I heard Phil Spencer. Phil Spencer said to himself that he likes investing into um. Hello. Hello. Phil Spencer Hello? likes something, man. Okay, my, my question is for y'all. Um, Phil Spencer said to himself that he likes investing into uh, the uh, the exclusives, the, our, our own IP. So what, my question is for y'all, what IPs would you like him to invest in that are Xbox exclusives? A lot of them are... Uh... A lot of them he can't invest in anymore because they don't own them. But like things like Jade Empire, I would love to see another Knights yeah. of the Old Republic. You know what? I, I want to see them do like their own – like okay, like Lionhead's working on a new RPG that's like futuristic or something. I want to see them invest like a first-party game where you know for a fact that it's not going to PS4. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, I, well, I would like to see them re reinvest into Sudeke, Brute Force, bring back the Bruce Lee. What else they had that was hot, man? Yeah, Bruce Lee, definitely. Yeah, Bruce yeah. Lee was hot. Buffy the Vampire. That was a fucking great game. That game was great. Yes, it yeah, was. I, have, I have both of them still. Yeah, both. I they, like they part two. I just played the first one. The first one was better. The second one was, was sucked, okay? And the, the interesting thing was uh, Double Helix Games was the one that made the first part. Oh, that was that was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. All right. All right, Crow. Appreciate it, bro. God bless. We gotta get yeah, you. good questions, man. Hey, yeah, we, we get we get a lot of calls in now, man. But yeah, hopefully that that continues, man. This is Blazing Phoenix. Keep oh. it Xbox, dudes. Yeah, Keep calling, it Xbox. We're calling him right now. Call returning this call. I don't know what's the, are you connected? He, he's he's he, he's part of the Goon Platoon, man. He, he's a, he's a long time listener, man. We, hey, sorry, you talking about PS event in February? What? I don't know. I don't know what's going on with the Skype. Hey, Blazing Phoenix, if you're watching right now, um, uh, <laughs> uh, can you uh, can you call, call, man. call hey, back? Someone's so like, shout out to the Sony guy in Big Gamer Small Talk, Sony <laughs> Ward. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you guys are funny, man. You guys, I'll tell you, you guys were funny. It's so nice to be a part of this and feel wanted. <laughs> Yeah, you oh, 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 Jay Jay Williams has a great question. Jay Williams has a great question. He says he hates he hates beating a dead horse, but with all the articles and confirmation of the benefits of DirectX 12 on Xbox One, why do you think there are still so many people, Stone Fox reviews tech, still disputing it? Um, I, I, well, I'm gonna answer this call, but you can answer because I think again is there even if you don't. Here's the thing: even if you don't believe into the 50 percent or whatever, we do know. That it's gonna free up resources on the G. Yeah, yeah. Here's the thing, right? Like, like, um, 
it'd be it it'd be asinine, and I did a video on this today too, to think that they that this thing, DirectX, that the Xbox One was built with that in mind, the newer version, that yeah. it's not gonna do anything. See, this is the thing. The Sony fans don't think that it's not gonna do a little bit. They think it's gonna do nothing at uh, all. Nothing. Is, we know right now that it's not to free up resources on the GPU that could be and you know, that can be used guess to get games that maybe had problems getting to T P becoming to P on the Xbox One. Even if it, now listen, I'm not saying that if it, even if it doesn't put it above the PS4, it will at least put it even with the PS4. You're not gonna see any more 900p games. Everything will be 1080p, you know. And we we know about the frames per second, you know. I say 1080p, 60 frames per second, majority of the games, you know. I mean, especially exclusives built from the ground. When we went from like DX10 to DX11 and so forth, we saw like those texture images changes where steps used to be like a flat like image, and then it went to a 3D texture. And mm -hmm. I think you're going to see, I don't know what it is yet, but we're going to see something with DX12 do exactly what you said, Z, where you're going to have the 1080p 60 frames. I think it's going to be something that's just, like, easy. That's not, no problem. I think we're going to see a new texture kick in that yeah. we're unaware of. Maybe, like, when we're, that alias thing, like, when you're when you're driving fast and everything that no was coming up before, yeah. you know what I mean, isn't blurry. It's just, pop, there's no more pop-ins. I don't know what it'll be, but it'll be something significant. Okay, you know what, I just want to say this. Um... What's you? No one talks about on the Xbox One is ray tracing. That's going to be huge. Talent yeah, resources. Yeah. That's going to be huge. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, man, you know it's going to do something. Blazing Phoenix, your question. All right, guys. Mm -hmm. You see that Sony is selling only. Uh, you saw the Sony that sold saw, uh, Sony CE, and it's a lot of problems going on. They did not get any updates. The console still the same. What do you think it'll take for Sony fans to start getting upset and demand that Sony change their console? Um, which well, you mean well, course updates? You mean course updates? Yeah, like you know how to get monthly updates. Yeah. And updates for getting. I Sony don't know what, get anything. The Sony yeah. fan, you know what? The Sony fans are in constant damage control. Yeah. So I think that as long as they have that thing, that they actually only hurt themselves by doing that. You know what I mean? Like if there's a problem, they should say something about it. You know what I mean? Because it's only going to hurt themselves at the end of the day. You know, and also, I, I just think they uh, the SDKs and stuff was straight out of the box was just more mature than the Microsofts was. Yeah. So they didn't have to do anything right away. You know what I'm saying? So pretty soon they're gonna have some updates. But also, no, I would say this stability you know, updates. Hold on, hey Mark. Hold on one second, Mark. One second. I want to say this is that Sony fans have been conditioned to. to they, I think they looked at the PlayStation before. What you see as far as the Xbox One. We expect our console to evolve. You know what I mean? We're, yeah, that's true. As a software company, Sony's not really known for that. You know what I mean? I don't think there's going to be a problem. You know, you may have a, a few fans like, hey, man, Sony, Microsoft fans are getting this. But you got to realize, this is what Microsoft do. They are a software company. You know what I mean? This is what pays the bills for them. Sony is a hardware company. They make shit. The fact that they can have that console, their powerful console, it had a power supply inside the console. You know what I mean? That's what they do. Kudos, you know, this, this is Microsoft's strong part. And the strong point, look at where the 360 started off at, and look where it ended up at now. You know what I mean? Totally two different consoles. If you just showed me the 360 when I first got it and showed it to me 10 years later, I'm like, what the fuck? What, what console is this? Is this a new Xbox? I wouldn't even know going by the interface and the UI. You know what I mean? This is what Microsoft does best. Uh, Mark, uh, let's probably give you one more question after this. Mark, what's your question for the show, bro? Yeah. Um, hi, guys. Hey, what's going on? Hey, what's going on? Hey. What's going on? Uh, Montreal, Canada. Thank you. What's going on? It's cold up. Good hey. hockey team. Good hockey team. Yeah. What's, what's going up, eh? What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, uh, I want to know uh, what did you expect for the next PlayStation event in mid-February, I think? Yeah, the PlayStation event in February? Is this question? Yeah, some kind of meetup in New York. In, no, uh, I'm, yeah. I think. Uh, are you talking about GDC? In, in no, it's, uh, it's not. It's just like a, They're having their a, own a PlayStation event. event in New York. Yeah. Two weeks How many now. events do they need for these damn indies? Hey, 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 buddy, hey, my buddy from Canada, man. You be excited about that event in February. <laughs> they're going to show, show some they're stuff. Showing, I think they're showing hey, their TV yeah, stuff. Yeah, hey, 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 I, think, I think they're showing... They're showing No Man's Sky for the twelfth time. I think in uh, what's gonna happen is like kind of a 
uh, an event that is going to announce like uh, uh, the merger of their PlayStation services. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, well, actually, like I said, I, I, hey, bro, Mark, I, I haven't heard anything about it. If you can be a good sport, and, and before the show is over, can you give me a link? I would like to read about it. I didn't. Did you guys even have an event? Yeah, they're, 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 they're consolidating everything under one roof. So their music, their movies, their games, it's all under Sony Entertainment. Yeah, you know, kind of like kind of like Apple does everything under one roof, kind of like Microsoft is doing that with Windows 10, everything under one roof. Yeah, one roof. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, that's because that's the only roof they have left. Uh, <laughs> 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 hey, crap! Crap on the road today, man. Yeah, yeah. Godly. All right. Boy, listen, man, listen, you need to listen, sign him up for <laughs> Death Comedy Jail. <laughs> uh, um, let me say one thing before we, if, if you see the question in the comment section, you can ask before we go. Uh, um, uh, 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 anything else? We do any show we do a good one? Oh, that's okay. good. That's it. All right, well. That's a wrap. Okay, well, listen, guys, thank you guys for calling. Hey, I mean, hey crap, crap on the road. Thank you, Noah. Who was that? That was the actual page, man. That was the actual page. Uh, 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 uh. All right, but listen, we thank you guys for, let me say this before we go. We appreciate all you guys that support Big Gamer Small Talk Podcast. I can't say this enough. Like you know, what I mean, something is crazy. A thought that I had in my head to, that's so organic to bring four or five people give me from, from different walks of life. And the only thing we have in common is the love of video games. But we appreciate it for guys for helping us grow this brand. And if anybody like I said, you want to see more on the shows, let us know. We can start. We can make it happen. You know, what I mean, let's really take this thing to the We appreciate it, man. You guys want to say anything before we head out? This yeah, I just want to say that, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really appreciative, too, and just, uh, you know, keep it Xbox. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I'd like to say something. Uh, play video games. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shout out, shout, last last shout out to Jay, uh, Jay Williams, man. He's making everything look classy, and he's making it look professional, and he's willing to do it on his own time, so. Yeah, shout so, out to Listen to anybody watching the show live, and I was supposed to give a shout out to him, and I forgot. I'm human. Uh, I'm sorry, Jesus Christ, I'm here. I thought you nobody, were nobody asked me to give shout out, so I'm a shout you out to, the, to shout the ones out to that, that mentally, that mentally asks. You know, I'm gonna say shout out to you guys. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. All right, well, we got here. We thank you guys, man. Another great show, man. Rack them up. Bang bang. <laughs>